Hi everyone, welcome back to Shandri Zagor channel. So, as you can see for today, we have the 2020 the Mercedes Benz GLA and 2020 the facelift the Audi uh, Q7 they release uh, now. So, we are going to see uh, the practicality of the two F SUVs the infotainment and stuff like that so let's start with uh, this one the new GLE so also you can go with uh, to open the car with uh, your smartphone that is uh, very nice you can see the beautiful interior illuminated the Mercedes-Benz there and this is the mg line so it's more sporty outside and the inside and you can see the interior is uh, very interesting especially uh, this uh, two screens which work and looks very futuristic and very good you can control with this uh, touchpad and you give a uh, very nice feedback and you can talk with the system and you can control with uh, this uh, touchpad also you can go with the uh, touch screen if you want to but uh, the best thing is uh, you have this uh, very soft to rest your and then to work with the system and here we have the driver's uh, display is very good and very easy to use change the styles of the display I'm going progressive and this is the MBUX also the A class has the same system, two zone climate control, the cup holders, wireless charging there. See the storage in the armrest is very deep, very good. And the glove box right here. Also we have the perfume. So it smells very good in the cabin. So right now, let's swipe in the Audi Q7. So right now, as you can see, we are inside of the Audi Q7. The dash design now is the same as the Audi Q8. Here we have the start stop button engine. So it's very nice and clean design, but I don't know maybe the gla is more interesting okay the things that i like is this uh, steering wheel with the flat bottom is so so good and this car is uh, brand new if you live in the kosovo you can find here at uh, auto salon alberti and they have very good price for this car and every car actually so let's check the infotainment is a touch screen the audi changed the mmi which have the wheel in older uh, models uh, i don't know i really prefer to have a little joystick because when you are driving it's way more easy to control the infotainment but after all is very good system to work with also you have the feedback in uh, touch screen so you know what are you doing for example what are you touching navigation and this screen is uh, for climate control and for example the driving modes you can change there you can see you have 
parking sensors. Also, we have the ambient light. In Mercedes vans, we have a lot more uh, color to play with. I'm talking about the ambient light. So we can see the virtual cockpit. Uh, again, uh, I think is a little bit uh, more good in the Mercedes vans. But also, this is very beautiful. And a little bit the bottom feels cheap. Okay, let's uh, check the exterior now and we come later in the back seats, the trunk and stuff like that. So we can see, like I said, this uh, GLE, it fitted with the AMG line, so it's more sporty. You can see the bumper in the front and this uh, diamond grill. The LED daytime running lights with the multi beam headlights. And uh, you can see, for example, this Q7 uh, is uh, S line. You can see, I don't know, maybe the face is uh, more good in the Q7. Comment down below, what do you think about that? So we can check now from the side. You can see this remind uh, the ML, which this uh, model replaced that, but just they changed the name. I don't know, what do you think guys? For exterior design, I think the Audi wins, especially you can see in the back is very good, way more good than the GLE, I think. But the things that I don't like in uh, Mercedes-Benz and Audi in the latest car, you can see this. This is so annoying. You have complete fake exhaust. The exhaust on somewhere there. <laughs> and it's the same thing with the with the Mercedes vans. You can see it's just a plastic. I think in, in uh, Mercedes van in the petrol engines, you actually have the real one. For example, let's check the BMW X5 now. And I can show you. Look, this is real, man. You can see why they don't use like the BMW. I really don't know. So let's check the trunk of these two cars now. It's all el electric. Actually, this car have the seven seats. And you have uh, electric to operate them. And you can see when the seats are down, it's very, uh, very spacious. So right now, let's swipe in the GLE. So here we are, uh, the trunk of the Q7 is definitely way more big, we can see some under storage here, very good car. The electric trunk of course for both parts, and the button in the trunk in the audi is uh, more premium if i can say so let's check uh, the back seat now of the q7 so you can see the door is opening very wide and uh, it's easy to put the for example the seat of your uh, kit back there 
and it's very easy to jump in. So here we are. We can slide a little bit in the back if you want uh, extra leg room. We have four zone climate control and you can see this Alcantara is so premium. We have this beautiful two cup holders, the lights, also the headroom is very good. I'm about 180 centimeters. So let's check now the back of the GLA. So you can see, I think it's uh, more easy to step in the back of the GLE compared to the Q7 yeah it really is you can see and uh, you are sitting uh, more low than the Q7 in the Q7 the back seat I think they are a little bit higher so here we have the armors with two cup holders also this have the panoramic sunroof but now is uh, covered on you can see the headroom is very okay everything in both cars they are very good so here we are uh, so uh, the Audi I think uh, is uh, more good in the exterior than the GLA but if you want more technology and uh, more good uh, interior i will uh, go with uh, gle so guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe for more videos to come and don't forget to leave your comment about uh, these cards and we see you in the next video bye Back to the video.